everybody, this is Peter at Plumbing Express. Just welcoming you back to another opportunity for us to check out some of our new technology or any opportunity to put in. So we are in one of our customers' garages, so excuse us if you guys can hear the air conditioner running a little bit. But what we've put in today is, uh, the Halo is already here, but what we put in today is the FlowLogic Smart Water Control System. So we already did an actual unboxing of this, and now we actually have done the install. And so this is a water management system, or uh, some people re refer to them mainly as a leak detection system. That's not only what they're there for. They just like they talk about here. It's really about managing your water. It's about understanding uh, how you're using it, um, how much flow is happening. If you do have a, a leak, it is going to tell you about that. But it does more than just do leak detection. So as you can see here on this one, we had a customer that had a, a Halo system installed. And we cut into after that, because uh, one of the things that you want to make certain of, and they actually detailed out in the instructions, is you want to install these systems after any type of filtration like this. This is a filtration that does regenerate, and because of that, it lets air, uh, not air, it lets water in and out. And when it cycles, it can actually create a pressure drop that can cause the impeller to spin backwards on this, and it might make the system think that there's an actual leak. So they always want you to install it after that. They also want you to install a check valve. Now, this house does have a backflow preventer on it, so we might have been able to get away without having to put a, this check valve on there, but we want to make certain it's totally isolated from this filtration unit. So we put the check valve on there, so that way there's no way that this can create any negative pressure that would affect this. So we came up, and you can see here they do a really nice job. They give you some nice brass unions that are on there to be able to attach it. That made us to be able to adjust it, but we wanted this to sit straight up and down so that the homeowner we wanted it to look nice and neat. Uh, we put a little sticker on there just to give an uh, arrow flow for direction because we mounted our brackets on here to hold it in place. We wanted to make sure this is good and sturdy. It ended up covering up the one spot where the arrow was giving you direction of flow. Now, of course, we do have the, uh, the check valve here that does have an air direction of flow on there as well, but comes up, goes through there, comes back down the other side, then goes back down and ends up going into the house and feeding everything else. So as you can see up on here, the way that they've designed this is you have the solenoid and actuator up here on top, then you actually have the ball valve mounted down below that, then it comes through another pathway. In here is where it houses the actual flow sensor. So this is where it's going to detect uh, all the different things that are going on with the water. So how much water is flowing, uh, is it flowing at all, that type of stuff. And it runs up here and it connects right into here where all of the, the, not just the mechanics, but also the computer parts are housed. Then we have this line that runs off. We have it sitting over here because for this installation, we're not putting in the, not going to mount the control panel yet because the homeowner is actually going to have an electrician run it up overhead and mount it wired into her, uh, wired into her actual alarm system. Because one of the nice things about Flow Logic is they actually have it set up where it can be wired into your alarm system, which will then signal you. So let's say that you're not available or you don't want to have it set up on a Wi-Fi system so that it, it actually attaches to an app. What it's going to do is it's actually going to send, an, send a, uh, a response to the alarm. The alarm company would be able to pick it up and let you know that your system has closed off the water because it's detected a leak. So it also is nice because it pipes up here, you can see, or wires up here. We've got a transformer up here high. It also comes with a nice 12 volt battery backup. So our homeowner here has a generator, which is great here in Florida because it's something that's very useful. We have a lot of power outages. But with that battery backup, it makes it so that even with the power out for a while, that 12 volts is gonna be able to run the controller and actuate this for quite a few times before you would run out. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the controller. So here you guys can see a nice picture of it. It's got a lot of buttons on there for being able to do several things. One, of course, is letting you know home, away. If you hit the away button, it's going to actually cycle. Uh, it'll close the system so that way it knows that it can that do that for certain and it's not blocked. And then it's going to open back up and it'll let you know in the away mode. You can put back in the home mode and it's just going to stay the way it is. <clears throat> you also have some programming buttons in there as well and then it's letting you know here with this logo here with the off. If you press both of these together, it'll actually set the system off all together. Uh, now, in the home mode, it comes preset, so you have 30 minutes of flow before it's gonna shut things off. In the away mode, you have about 30 seconds of uninterrupted flow before it's gonna shut things off. And it does have the ability to go in there and change programming on there as far as setting how much water level it's happy with on that. You can also adjust the time up and down as well. And for right now, we've left everything just the way the standard is. I think that pretty much covers us everything on the Flow Logic. We're really excited to get the chance to put this in, hear back from the customer after she's had it for a few months. 
We don't have the connect module, which will be one of the next things we do. We'll shoot another video when that comes in. We're actually connected everything in that. Unfortunately, with everything in 2022, the uh, computer chip shortages and stuff like that, they're running behind in producing the actual module that is the, the wireless connection on that, so the connect part. So again, we're gonna let the customer uh, try this out for a few months, then we're gonna come back and work on that connect module. Whenever we do that, we'll go ahead and head on back. We'll make sure that we do the video on that as well. We'll talk about everything to do with the connect and ask her again how she's liked this for the past couple months. This is Peter with Plumbing Express. Look forward to seeing you in our next video.